should just go really, shouldn't I? Cyrusha have contacted me a few times before asking if I want to try one of their e-bikes and then after saying yes please they've just disappeared so on the third time when they contacted me again I kind of felt like Morgan Freeman on his third parole meeting in Shawshank I don't have any idea what that means but they finally sent one and this is the Ovia with its BMX star handlebars, chunky drop frame and 20 inch fat tires, the Cyrusha Ovia has a rugged look while still being extremely accessible for those who can't get their leg over. It has front and rear suspension as well as a very comfy and nice looking saddle, making this bike ready to take on the rough stuff. In this video, we'll take a look at how it went together, what's in the box and I'll share my first impressions based on its as sold state. That is locked down to 250 watts as they say on their website. Website. This means that the motor is likely capable of so much more, but how does a locked 250 watt bike perform on a hill climb? Will it act like a normal 250 watt bike and fail? Going very slow. I'm not pedaling, of course. Nine miles an hour now, eight miles an hour. It's slowing down. <laughs> and it's gonna fail. Or is this the type of bike you really need if you want to keep it legal, but you also want to conquer hills and carry big loads? Let's find out. 15.5 miles an hour. That's what I'm doing right now. On a bike that I'm sure that can do much more. Well, right now, I'm in the UK, so it's limited to 15.5 miles an hour. This is the Cyrusha Ovia. Interesting name. And it's a 250 watt limited Bafang motor powered e bike with considering it's a 250 watt motor a monstrous 52 volt battery monstrous the battery is 17 amp hours which gives it a total of 884 watt hours capacity which they reckon will get you about 50 miles i think they're being conservative actually most bikes with that many watt hours they'd say we can do 150 miles 50 miles that sounds about like normal so this is just a quick first impressions of the bike in limited mode let's just see what it's like we're gonna go and do the hill climb I'm not gonna post it as an official time but I'll let you know how fast it is so we can kind of see how quick it is up there in this limited mode because obviously limited if it's really limited to 250 watts then like all the other 250 watt real bikes you shouldn't actually get up the hill but will it get up the hill i kind of think it will but on the way let's learn more about it so it's a step through design and it went together there's a lot of stuff to do to get this together including you might notice this wing mirror here which i haven't set up there we go that's quite visible there we go uh it came with one on the left hand side as well but i didn't put it on the light had to go on screw came out screw goes back in well let me show you so to say i've never seen this before So you peel it off a layer at a time. Okay, so this is the best packed e-bike I've ever seen in my life. Watch out for that, that really hurts. Toasty. I thought they forgot to send stuff for a second, but there's the box. In the box we've got a manual, we've got bits and bobs, we've got a nice looking three amp charger. We've got some handlebar mirrors for both sides. We've got tools, we've got foldable pedals and half grip twist throttle as well as all the usual bits of uh, padding there's a piece of wood there protecting the bike and there's also a bit of plastic there protecting the gears and little plastic knobbly bits protecting the ends of the brakes very nice sorry Russia well done this is a lot less fiddly to get on if you leave it just hanging down and then when it's see we've got it in position bring it up Whilst this supplied tool is very good, if you're going to use it, do the handlebars before the light because it kind of gets in the way. Same problem again with this down here, putting the uh, mud guard on. The sides stick out. Whoa, losing the bike. It's even getting in the way of this. So if you have a long Allen key, that would help a lot. 
pedals my favourite bit of the bike build because it's easy. Unless you use a spanner that's a bit too big and then you can't get it off. <coughs> and now I've wrecked the uh, sticker. Oh my god. Wheel time. <coughs> it appears I'm missing a quick release. Look at me with the battery. So the wheel looks like it's a quick release wheel, which it might well be, but it doesn't come with a quick release mechanism. It comes with these two things. So that's how you get the front wheel off. Now let's drop this beast of a 52 volt, 17 amp hour battery in. When you unlock it, there's still a clip holding it in. So if you don't pull that, you can't get it out. But then that's locked fully in. And of course we shall be putting on the throttle. Oh, it looks like they've lent quite a bit of space for the throttle because they're usually longer. then just plug that in, ta-da. You can use the zip ties, or you can use this stuff to tidy up the wires. Yeah, that's quite good. Nice. And the bike is together, let's get it charged up. There was a lot to do, but when you've got a new bike and you're all excited, you don't tend to mind. I should just go really, shouldn't I? Go very slow, don't upset the viewers. Go very slow. What if there's someone on the drive? Then I would stop, cause I'm going very slow and back on the road again. Yeah! There's a very obvious stop. As soon as it gets to 15.5, it's like, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. no more. The throttle doesn't work in Paris of Zero. But it seems to be about as strong in every mode. Oh, I don't know actually, it felt feel, feel a bit stronger then, but it's hard to tell because it, it gets limited at 15. So, what I'm hoping is, because this is just the first impressions, I'm gonna find out if it can be unlocked, and I'm sure it can be, because um, Cyrusher is uh, very similar to that brand Crazy Bird I had before. And when I had the Crazy Bird jumper, it was a case of undoing a little panel, disconnecting a plug. If we can do that, then we'll take it up Sandy Lane again, see how it does. It's quite a heavy bike, so if it does go slow up Sandy Lane, might be able to blame the weight. 15 miles an hour, or 15 to 16 miles an hour, isn't really slow, but on a bike like this, you kind of feel like you just want to go a bit faster because you feel like you can. Front and rear suspension, air suspension at the back. Front suspension is nice and lockable. Let's go through some of these potholes on purpose. And with a 20 inch puncture resistant fat tires, it just feels absolutely fine. It's nice when uh, a company makes good suspension that feels decent on a cheapish bike. I mean, I know if you've got a five grand e-mountain bike, you're gonna think, oh, that suspension is rubbish. But we're talking on about a bike that's under two grand. It's not bad. Whereas often, bikes under two grand have got crap suspension. Right, 80 new meters of torque. Three, two, one, go. It's all right. So 15, it could have gone faster, but it's had to stop. So it's losing out on that extra kind of bit of flat pace that could have helped it get up the hill. We are 80 Newton meters. We've had a bike recently, the Pivy Z20 Max. Very nice bike, but that was also 80 Newton meters, although I don't really think it was. But it'd be interesting to compare it to that. We're definitely slowing down though. Now the motor itself is a Bafang motor which for bikes at this price range is a good brand. I'm just gonna put my legs around a bit just in case. Oh no, I've got a wing mirror, I've got a wing mirror. I love having a wing mirror. 100% recommend getting a wing mirror. This is one that sticks into the end, which, uh, which seems to work pretty well, quite like it. 
So it's got up as I expected it would, limited to 250 watts. And three, two, one, and stop. So despite being limited, the Ovia makes it up the hill in a very respectable 1 minute and 9 seconds, making it faster than some of the non-limited e-bikes rated at 1000 watts. Cyrusher have contacted me and let me know how to delimit the bike, so if you want to see how it does when it isn't limited, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it when the full review drops in the near future. And now is the bit where we go back down again. And I pray that I put the bike together right. And again, this is why I don't understand the speed limits of e-bikes because if there's a hill, you're allowed to go 32 miles an hour. <coughs> so why aren't I allowed to do that? Not on a hill. But yeah, what do you reckon? Leave your, I've done a video on that before. Why well, the speed limit and power limits are sort of pointless. It's to say you're not allowed to have help going over 15.5 unless gravity helps you. It's kind of, ooh, don't get it. Let's see what kind of speeds we can get from this. So I'm going 20. Leave I try. Right, I think without power, this is going to be one of them bikes that's hard to keep going over 15 or whatever its top speed is going to be just because it's so heavy and the big fat tyres kind of drag you about they give you loads of grip but they even give you grip when you're going forward called rolling resistance which is why racing or road bikes have got really thin tyres so they have less of it so it's easier to go fast Look, 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 So yeah, that was the first impressions though of this Cy Russia Ovia, which feels like a very well put together, solid, decently powered e-bike, which in its limited form as it comes, still feels like a nice bike if you want to get around and you don't mind going 15, 16 miles an hour. If you like not having to get your leg over the back and having this step through, so it's easier to get on. You know, if you're a older person or if you have a few mobility issues, then this would be great. Getting around the village or even around the town or even between villages or between towns. Full review coming soon. If you don't want to miss it, Make sure you subscribe. If you like e-bikes in general, feel free to subscribe. But you don't have to. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. I won't play the thumbs down because people will think I'm talking to them in their cars. But until next time, thanks for watching. Right safe. I just got hit in the face with this drone out filming stuff for my bike. Uh, Hover X1, and the great thing about getting hit in the face with this drone is that it doesn't hurt at all.